burger like smaller no smaller for some smaller. reason I don't know why and got sometimes was, uh, was follow Malaysia style uh, only from Malaysia no. yeah uh, but then uh, the thing that they put in like different also eh, like mm. the quality they don't even wrap the meat in the egg, egg anymore <laughs> some, some shop Let's talk about one of my favourite things in Singapore. Bazaar and Pasar Malam. Okay, yeah. I'm pretty sure all of you have went to one before lah. Yes. What is your favourite food there? Okay, okay, you know the green colour tapioca? Mm. Yeah, I like that. Mm. I don't know, it's, it's like... Oily, oily nice, yeah, sweet, yeah. crispy outside. Okay. Mm. Yeah, I think mm. for me, probably Ramli Burger. Uh, uh, I mean like that, that one don't need to say it. Classic, yeah. Classic, like, yeah. I mm. like the, you know, Chinese have this, uh, like, uh, different colour, uh, like, Bun like that, oh. steam one. Then you must mix with the. But for hungry goes no. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that one, that one got no flavor. Eh. Yeah, yeah, so, the so sugar. Yeah, yeah, the sugar. Yeah, the the the, the orange one. Right. Yeah, mm. wow, that one. You know, I every time last time when I was secondary, right? Then my downstairs has this like pasta I'll go and buy and then like I'll peel it because it's like this it's, shape. Yeah, right? yeah, oh. yeah. Then I peel one, so then I wound a lot. I mean, <laughs> that was oh, all. This is your favorite. <laughs> What the hell? <laughs> oh, you guys realize ah, uh, the prices now has increased. Mm, For mm. mine, right? Okay, the Lego, much. right? What cost? What used to cost one fifty now cost four dollars. Really, oh, man? Yes. Damn, uh, yeah, because you eat too much, right? No, it's the same quantity. <laughs> oh, <I see>. <laughs> <laughs> like make me very angry, you know? Yeah. So the prices of your favorite food, right? Did it increase or not? Yeah. I think Ramly Burger increase, right? Is the increment right, is actually quite justified. Eh? Mm. Like three dollar to four fifty. One fifty increase, I think is okay. Mm. But three dollars is the increased price already, man. Now four fifty. No, no, three dollars was the old Original price. Original price. Then they increased to three for ten. Now it's four fifty or so. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's, so it's okay. I think it's okay for a very nice. Not, burger. not that crazy. But the thing is, a lot of the Ramly sellers, right? Now the burger like smaller, no. Smaller. For some smaller. reason, I don't know why. And got sometimes must, uh, must follow Malaysia style, uh, Ramly from Malaysia. Uh, yeah, uh, but sometimes. Then, the thing that they put in like different also eh? like the mm. quality they don't even wrap the meat in the egg, egg anymore <laughs> some, some shop some shop how can you call that rami yeah, burger rami, rami, rami. Yeah. that one just a normal burger I mean it is just a burger just a burger <laughs> so yeah I'm gonna show you guys some of the food lah okay mm. in a recent bazaar and pasar malam you guys guess the price okay wow. Okay, you guys ready? So, so how does it work? When you show us, then we... Then see. you guys guess. Okay. You know what? Challenge or just... But price is right or not? Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, you, so the top winner you buy for us? Uh? Okay, the top winner, uh, okay? Got one Rambi burger to claim. Oh. Hey, but I don't like Rambi! Okay, I thought you were going to buy the ghost festival. Oh, that was so cheap! <laughs> that was so cheap! <laughs> so I want the... <laughs> oh, burger, uh. Okay, uh, so Ramli Burger is on the line. Okay, okay. There are uh, five, la, okay? Five okay. pictures. This is the first one. Oh. Hey, can okay, explain the picture? Okay. This is long, long fries. Huh? Long, long fries? fries. These are fries. With what? Seaweed and, and cheese. Seaweed, are. mayonnaise. It's so long, like. And I think mentaiko or something. Uh. Wow, ah. mentaiko. Okay, okay. That's the thing though, because nowadays uh, they Everything come out with like, like, cool. very creative yeah, I have a number in mind. Creative thing. Yeah, uh, just to check out the price. Yeah, just to check out the price. Okay, I have a number. Okay, I also have. You all ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Go! $7.50. Hey, you must shoot. Hey, it's <laughs> you That's right. I say eight plus eight, $7.50. Yeah, that's right. Come on, I'm ready to show. Hey. Hey. Oh. Hey. 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 Hey.
Okay. You got one point. Joseph must say first. And already. Yeah, she got one yellow card already. Hey. <laughs> Seven dollars and fifty cents. <laughs> one more yellow <laughs> card, ah, <laughs> and he owe all of us. Okay, okay. Yeah. No, I will say like if I want to say, I will say like seven fifty. Ah. Ready for the second one? Yes, yes, yes. Takoyaki, okay. This one, I have enough idea. Okay, this one for six balls. Uh. Sim, uh, six. Okay, but wait, wait, wait. It's mentaiko takoyaki. Wow, everything mentaiko. Okay. Okay. You're ready, you let me know. Okay. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. 6.90. 6.90. 6.50. 6.50. 6.90. 6.90. 14 50. 14 50? No, I said 14 90. What the <laughs> hell? 6 what? Okay, one so, is for, one, two, three. A box of 6 of Mentaiko Takaki right now costs $7. Wow. Yay! $7. Because right. right. yeah, yeah. remember the time where 6 Takaki cost $2.30, you know? Yeah, $2.50. $2.50. Yeah, $2.50. Yeah, $2.50. Two fifty. Yeah, normal price for 6 bucks. So, so cheap, man. Yeah, 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 yeah very cheap. Yeah. 14 <laughs> Next one, la, I I feel is very ridiculous, la, okay. mm. Very ridiculous is the keyword, ah. Huh? What's this? Right? Sausage, mm. uh, mini sausage. Uh. This banana bread. Huh? Yeah. So Wait, nowadays it's, it's, they sell it's, this banana it's bread. It's made of banana. Uh, it's like a cake like with cake. a bit of banana filling inside. Oh. Uh, so one yeah. only, right? Yeah. So it's like... about like that. This is one. Yeah. Okay. One. So the price for one, ah. Uh. Yeah. Okay. Banana. You guys ready? You guys ready? Though? Okay, I have I have a price in mind. Okay. Okay. Three, two, one. Four ninety. Yours is six. Six. Five fifty. Four ninety. Yours is five fifty. This banana bread, uh, one uh, cost six ninety. Expensive. Six ninety. Oh, so I win now. I win now. So it's super close like that. <laughs> right. So two, one, one and one and yellow card. <laughs> Next one is uh their signature carrot cake. So you know carrot cake lah, okay. huh? the black and white carrot cake. Mm. This one got prawn inside. Okay. Some of their ingredients. Like one, 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 it looks like this. Okay. Ah, so okay. I know. Okay. Carrot cake, huh? Carrot cake. Okay, carrot cake. Okay. Right. So how much do you guys think this plate of carrot cake costs? Okay. I have okay, price. I also have a price. Mm. You don't need to say really. <laughs> I don't need. I can. I can, can tie. Yeah. Okay. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Eight ninety. Wow, you got it almost at the door. Eh. This cost eight eighty. Yes. For a plate of <laughs> carrot cake. Yes. You don't know for one two fifty no. <laughs> yeah. You don't know. No pun. You see, you don't want prawns. Carrot cake is also like three dollars, right? Mm. Then you put like prawn. Exactly. Five dollars, eh. Five dollars oh, oh, yeah. yeah. okay, okay, This is mozzarella condor. Okay, oh, famous. Oh, so just I still got chance. Okay. No, I no chance. So this is how it looks like. Ah, yeah. uh, a normal mozzarella oh, condor. Ah, this one easy. How much do you guys think? Wait, this, uh, this one. This easy. I know already. Mozzarella really. condor. Okay, okay. Wait, 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 wait. What? This one. Okay. Three, two, one. Go. How much? 13. 7. 980. On the door! Yeah. 7 worth it! 7 worth it! 7 is worth it! 7 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 worth it! Maybe mm. but drink lah, but then like seven is worth it. Hey, don't need to talk so much lah. <laughs> Let me. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah. Your money goes away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So from consumer point of view lah, okay, we will feel like the prices are getting quite ridiculous. But from the recent Geelang Serai Bazaar, you guys know the, the biggest one here mm. in Singapore. Some store owners right were interviewed, and they might not be as accountable for the price right as a lot of us think. So this is why. So during the recent years, right, the rent for the stores, okay, have like skyrocketed. A lot of them goes above twelve k, and the highest for this Geylang Serai Bazaar, twenty four k, okay, for a month, to rent there yeah. So the reason, right, I'm talking about it. To be honest, are not that crazy. You see, it is crazy. It is mm. crazy. Mm. But 
compared to like maybe one two years ago, it was already roughly there. You oh, have twenty thousand dollars stalls uh, during the previous Ramadan bazaars. Hmm. So we might ask like, why would people actually pay twenty twenty four thousand? Okay, so I'm talking about this kebab store in this bazaar. So this guy agreed. Okay, come with a to a, to a term uh, with the organizer. Say that I will pay for the twenty four thousand if there is some perks to it. So the, the organizer said, okay, since you are selling kebab, I'll make sure there is exclusivity to your food. For that stretch only. Yes, yeah. so for that 10. Oh. So for that 10, only you can sell kebab. So the store owner is like... Good, but, <coughs> good, but, yeah, so this is what they agreed on. La. Then the kebab owner is like, okay, la, I will just give it a go, pay the rent. So Gelang Sarai Bazaar started, then this owner found something. Just 50 meters next to his shop, he found another kebab store. Oh, this one. Mm. So the organizer did him dirty, yeah. Oh, yeah. Very bad. That man's an imposter. That man is the imposter. You might ask like, why the rent is so high nowadays, ah. Uh. The organizer is trying to justify for it by saying that there are new features to the bazaar. So mm. if you go to Gyan Sarai now, then you will see that they have a stage in the center, and they said they will have more chairs and tables for people to eat in, like, at the pasar malam itself, mm. and uh. Yeah, from what I heard, this these are the two new features, lah. Yeah, what well, the all the pasar malam we used to have, yeah, well, but okay, this lemon ah uh, is really sucking our blood. Man. Yeah, so I want to ask you guys: Do you guys think right that the event organizers are greedy and seizing the opportunity to make money yes. after a long hiatus, or yes. do you think it's actually reasonable? No, I think they are greedy. No, you I mean, tell me the increase in ingredient cost and all, understandable. The rent, right, you jack it up because you know you can. You control it, the exactly. amount. <laughs> Seasonal kind of events, you know, there will be demand for it. Uh, this is what we need. Mm. We need people to not give the demand. We need vendors to come step in and say, you know what, you're too expensive, I will just do other place, other time. Yes. So that the consumers benefit and they benefit also. Mm. Mm. So, 700 vendors, right, well, uh, 700 stores lah, okay, were actually available when they put out. This year, only uh, 500 took up. Good. The mm. take up rate right, was never this low. That means, right, like, those people who used to rent this space, uh, lose money. Lose money. Mm. So mm. they have no faith and confidence to carry on. Mm. So the the 100k that one really is the best scenario already. Mm. And actually with that amount, right, you can rent uh, with 24,000, right, you can rent like a bulky three-level store, you know. It's just like, but the, the, the one is tied down uh, for like few years. Uh, depends on the contract like, Some people like one year, some people two years now. But tied down also, you have the space all the time, right? Yeah, <laughs> and and it's it's so different. Like you know, three three stories, but like and the first story you can rent it out. The second story you can rent it out. Like you know, there are so many things you can do. But this one right is just one month. You have to tank the whole hit or miss. Yeah, twenty four k. Wow. I'm guessing for those that hit. Really got quite a bit of profit on that mm. yeah, because the the traffic there is insane. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what I'm saying. Like, okay, let's say because I last time used to do F and B, right? So like, um, Jurong Point, it is like the only the biggest mall in Jurong, and a lot of people go there, right? Their rental is like thirty k on it from a small shop, like a small digital shop. So and then, because their traffic makes sense to it, and then I believe those people that take up those like the rental like twenty four k or something, right? They know they confirm make money, and that's why they they really do. Uh, you smell that? What is that? A cologne? Opportunity. No, money. So my last question to you guys right is, will you guys still patronize? No. No, no more joy in buying cheap stuff. Yeah. yeah. I think that is what really Pasar Malam is. You know, yeah. like recently I went to Tampanese, they have like this big Pasar Malam mm. also. I wanted to go back and then take a walk. But then after I recall again, like the price, the price is so expensive. It, Defeats the purpose already. Mm, After that, yeah. I just left. I didn't even enter, you know, step foot to the pasar malam. Bring back our pasar malam. We yes. don't want this expensive nonsense.